Can you can you tell me about the time my mom got in that car accident? Remember she got in a car accident? Yeah, it was the day before May the first, the day before Kenny's birthday. I had taken Kenny up to Kelly's corner to pick out some birthday presents. And I don't know what it was, but something the preacher wrote about it called her mother's intuition. I got feeling something going home. I told Kenny, we gotta go home. Then we come home, we're coming down the street. Okay. And I saw a crowd on the corner. I thought it was a crowd that was coming out for the candy store. When I got a little closer, I realized it wasn't a candy store, but it was in this block. I just dropped my shot and caught, grabbed Teddy's hand, and we ran home. And Shelly was laying on the ground. Never lost consciousness. She well, found out that I went out with color. her. She started yeah, crying. The coloring. So her father gave but her a nickel. how do you hold your pencil? I told Sherry and Betty no, and take her right down to the candy store. Let her get some candy. How do you hold you your pencil? You get penny candy, okay. Betty. And uh, you know how those kids show up behind you? She gets a lot of well, practice with Betty and Sherry will walk ahead. Pencil she will walk behind him. The car parked at the curb. Larry. He, he caught one shot. So he got out of the car, raised the hood, jumped to start it, and it chopped yeah. wood. Her biological. That's a shell that's going by. And it pushed her through the fence. But it was so, just one of the angle, the angle parking that the car ah! didn't hit her. She was very lucky. Right now, she's had a big family. Right side. Broke the wooden fence that was down there and pushed her through the fence. You know, she's been lucky. She was still holding a nick on her hand. Wasn't her arm hanging off? Oh, that's a pretty fancy face. Jerry went to pick her up, but her arm fell out of sleep. Her arm fell out? It started to come out and put her down. McGuire, you know? Eddie McGuire? No. In one of Bobby's band, his father came running up and said, Leave her, don't touch her, don't touch her. And he was a fireman. And he called 911 and they came and took her to the hospital. We, we attached her arm. We attached her arm. They said she'd never use it. You have a wrist stop. For a while she did have that wrist stop. But she used it now for everything. What year was that? Well, she said to me, but Mommy, I didn't go out in the street. I, yeah, I know, sweetie, you did go out in the street. She wasn't even crying? She wasn't crying? No. He might have been a lot of pain, but he still hold that nick on her hand. I guess she thought I was going to howl at it. Went out in the street, got hit by a car, you know? Yeah. 13 years. Oh, bad, bad. 13 years. Yeah. They said she wasn't going to use her arm anymore? She couldn't carry a school book for that arm. But then he gradually got better. Now she can use it. I'm from Albania. I can hear with zero English. How about me? And she also had a concussion. So the head hit the fence. Oh, wow. That's awful. Now, do you speak to your children in, in native Albanian? Uh, I do. I speak to them, but they everything they answer in English. Sure, but they understand Albanian. Not much. Yeah.